Hey folks, Eric Lee, we here. You're watching another episode of my YouTube vlog of 2018. It's also the second channel and chapter of my original vlog, The People's Lima, which can be seen under my real name on my other YouTube channel. My name is Eric Lima once again, and you are watching EML77 TV. It's episode 128. We we'll probably have a humongous rainstorm out there, and uh, it's a little crazy. Um, to say the least, it's, it's uh, totally insane. But, um, this is the last full week of summer, according to the calendar. I checked the calendar all wrong. I thought it was this Wednesday, a.k.a. tomorrow, but it's actually Sunday. So this is the last full week of the summer season, and later on that week, and possibly Thursday or Friday, I will give you my top five summer personal summer highlights uh, of my personal summer. I thought it would be great to do that, and, um, excuse me for a minute, a little itchy of the ears there, and uh, I think one thing we got to be aware of, my cat is outside, is laying down on the box, he's not going to, um, he suffered a stroke, and he's getting up there in age, he's lived a long life, and only me a matter of time before he decides to um, go over the Rainbow Bridge to visit my other dog, um, the Golden Retriever, Hannah, who's passed away a few years ago, and my other cat, um, Sir Cutie Pie, so... Well, I love I love the little guy. He uh, some fires are really, really one of a kind cat. And uh, my we got him after my after my sister Cora and my brother in law Brandon moved to Wisconsin in 2005, and um, we had him since then. And he was very happy to be at our home. Uh, my sister rescued him when he was a kitten from a garbage family in late 2004, I believe. So it's. And it was really, really, um, it, it, so it's really, really tough seeing them, and he's been not walking straight, and uh, I just ask y'all to keep him in my prayer, and keep him in your prayers, and I really do appreciate it, you know. I know the little guys don't got much long, but you know what? I love cats. Cats are really cool, so, um, and they're fun, and they're fun, you know. They get along, you know, sometimes they get along with dogs, sometimes they don't, and they like to play, you know. This one used to, used to be a loving cat. He likes to come in my room a lot, hide under the desk or something like that, where nobody can get him. But so, so I'm hoping that he be all right. Excuse me, sorry, a little bit dozed off there. Well, I finally got the uh, Capcom Beat 'Em Up bundle. I got a few pictures in the uh, thing. The cool thing about the Nintendo Switch is, is that you get to take pictures. Um, while you're playing the game or something like that, and you know, to save them, it's like you're like you're in action. So it's being charged up right now in this little doohickey thing. I gotta show you what you know. And just, let's see, it's, it's it's really cool. I like it. So, <laughs> so it's really fun. Um, so that's the um, the other thing. Well, my package came in. My package came in. I don't want to show the address. I should say my package came in. Let's see what it is. All right, just uh. One thing about packages that come in the mail, they're hard to open, that's for sure. Um, then I'm a little fun. A little Hulk Hogan, brother. Ah, check it out. Awesome. Oh, hold up. That's a receipt. Oh, oh, it's a receipt from WWE Shop. And it's my Kari Sane shirt. Got we got to check it out. The Pirate Princess. Kari Sane is the current NXT Women's Champion. And... Uh, I just, I'm a big fan of hers, and uh, she used to be known as Doku in uh, Lucha Underground. She was one um, third, she was one third of the um, uh, Black Lotus Triad, along with uh, Yu Shirai, who was who was also now signed with the WWE, uh, when she was known as Hitukiri in uh, the Lucha Underground thing. I thought that was really cool. And let's check out this shirt. Oh, totally awesome! Totally awesome! Check this out. Uh, it has as look, it has the uh, steering wheel. Um, get, 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 get. Uh, Kari Sane has the steering wheel on the front. It has the S for her last name, Kari Sane. It's Kari. You know, not Kari. It's Kari. Kari. And Kairi. And there's the, uh, the the compass in the back. And there's the uh, proof that it is bought by the uh, WWE. It was made by the WWE. Now check out the name tag here. The tag in the back. You should, the tag you know, has NXT 4X. I'm a big dude. And um, the final thing, uh, where is it? Is it here? Oh, yep, yep, it's here. 
uh, you know, if, if, if it's an authentic wear, NXT right there. That's the thing. So, yep, I got the shirt in. I got my shirt in. Yay. Kari Sane, yeah, Kyrie Sane. It's it's always, you know, people say, well, Kari Sane is Kari, Kari, Kari Sane, Kari Sane. So, I'm trying to pronounce that name so many times, Kari, and we end up saying Kari. It's Kyrie, Kyrie. So, um, also, big news for the New England Patriots. Um, they signed wide receiver Josh Gordon. Now, Gordon's been having substitute, uh, substance abuse problems and all that. Hopefully, Bill Belichick can uh, straighten him out, get him used to the uh, Patriots system, and uh, hopefully get him on the right track. And that's what we need right now. And um, I think uh, if Josh Gordon wants to win, he wants to be a champion, he's got to cut out all the crap. He's got to make the sacrifice. I always said it's time. There are We had some, main, we had some big name players um, come over to the Patriots, and they weren't ready to. They weren't ready to make that sacrifice sometimes and follow, and follow the Patriot way and all that. They were not used to, um, and so it's like it's like it's not not good for them. Um, they leave, um, and you know Reggie Wayne was one of them. Albert Hainsworth, uh, Ocho Cinco, aka Chad Johnson, uh, all you know. And no, the funny thing is about Patriot haters. I'm getting sick of Patriot haters because they always say the same stupid thing over and over again. They're cheaters. They're this. They're that. The flake gate, spy game. Move on from that. It's a new season. Come on, new season. Yeah, yeah the Patriots are not perfect, dude. They were perfect in the regular season back in 2007, but they didn't win the Super Bowl, did they? No. But you know what, though? I believe, you know, and you know what it is? It's a conspiracy, okay? It's a conspiracy that started by Mike Kenzel and Troy, Troy Vincent. You know, I, you know, maybe if you, you people thinking, no, this guy's going to wear his tinfoil hat again. And go on about hey, listen, I don't, I don't wear any tinfoil hats, but I know this for a fact that Mike Kenzel and, and Troy Vincent are a couple of, act like a bunch of, ven- a couple of vengeful ex wives because Bill Belichick spurned them in 2000. When he when he decided to coach the, the New England Patriots instead of the Jets and change his mind. And they're still upset with it. And so they try to find every single way to screw around with the Patriots and try to destroy them. Act like a, that's why you call a bunch of spoiled kids, a couple of brats. And I'll tell you what right now. Yeah, we won the Super Bowl championships, and you know what? We'll keep winning them if we have to. All right? It's not going to be easy this season, but I'll tell you what. We're going to get them. We're going to prove your haters wrong once again. And all you Patriot haters are all sheep. Want to follow Goodell, Kenzel, and Vincent? You go all right ahead because I really don't care anymore. That's right because y'all just made the list. All right. And it's a big thing. Now, the Red Sox-Yankee game was supposed to start at 1 o'clock today. I was sure I could have been watching the game right now. But they moved because of the weather that's been going on there. They're moving the time to 7 o'clock. I know. They try to con- uh, accommodate the young Kapoor. Uh, folks that support celebrate Yom Kippur. Once you celebrate Yom Kippur at a baseball game, why not? Uh, and all, all the all my Jewish friends out there celebrate at the baseball game. Hey, Red Sox Yankees gonna come on. Ah, Red Sox are gonna beat the Yankees and they're gonna clinch the East. Well, you never know what's gonna happen. You know. Also, I respect the Yankees. You know, I don't. I can hate the Yankees, but I also gotta respect them, man. I don't have to like the Yankees. Like I said, I gotta respect them. You know, like I said, they had some classy players over there, like Derek Jeter, man. Derek Jeter, one of the classiest guys who played the game, loyal to his team. You know, Bernie Williams was another one loyal to his team. Um, you know, Mariano Rivera, another one. You know, got to respect these guys, you know. You know, they, they go, they come in the ballpark and they play the game, and that's all they do. They don't get themselves into trouble and all that. Um, that type of deal, you know, you're talking about... Um, you know, Mario Rivera had a family emergency, you know, went into 2004, you know, ALCS at the time. And that shows me that he knows that family, you know, he always believes in family. And to, uh, listen, you know, and, you know, Red Sox fans pick on him when he helped us win, when supposedly he blew the save, and they all gave him a standing ovation. And he's like, oh, hey, yeah, I know. It was great. And just to see that, it's just... He has a lot of fun, so uh, I like, I'm a big fan of uh, I like I like Mariano Rivera. You know, my my salute goes to him and Derek Jeter. You know, the guy who brings class, you know, and brings um, um, class to the game. You know, you don't see him you know, get suspended for steroids. You rarely see him get ejected from a ball game. He's always been you know you don't hear about him in the news being locked up or beating up a woman or something like that. The only you hear him about in the news is when he's dating somebody. That's it. You know, 
You never because you never know who he's dating. I mean, you know what? I admit I'm a little bit jealous of De- Derek Jeter for that. But you know what? He, you know, like I say, if, the, if Big Poppy can show him respect and the Red Sox can show him respect, so can I. I mean, it doesn't hurt that much. So there we are. Um, look, my name say Red Sox and Yankees. They play tonight. Now the magic number to clinch the East is down to two. A Red Sox win and a Yankee loss. They're playing tonight. If the Red Sox win. Clinch the Eastern Division title for a third consecutive season. I think it's never been done before by the Red Sox. It's unheard of. I think the last time somebody did that, though, would be the Yankees. I think in the early 90s, I believe. Um, the mid-90s, I, I think. So i got, I got to check out last time that's happened. But um, as, far, but as far as the Red Sox is concerned, it's the first time in their history that they have uh, done this three um, days, in, uh, three seasons in a row, win the American League East. So I, I think that's a really cool accomplishment in its own right. Um, I, I am very, very amazed about what's been uh, going on. You know, like I said, you now this this year has been a strange, strange year um, to say the least, because there's been a lot of changes been going on. And you're trying to get used to it. You're trying to keep up with things, and you're like you're frustrated. You know, I think I felt like I was frustrated. Most of the time, it's like maybe, maybe uh, you know, like I said, the summer, the summer has man, a lot of changes happening, man. It's, it's just, it's just surreal. It's just surreal. That's all I can say. It's just surreal that you know you're trying to get you're trying to get used to the changes and trying to keep up with it, and you feel like you're driving yourself crazy by doing so. And uh, hey, you know what? What can I, what can I say? You know what I mean? Just I don't know. So. Well, well, that's all the time we have on the show. Um, like I said, keep my cat in your prayers. I know when you're like, no, oh, pray for my cat. You know, pets are. Before I go, uh, pets are part of our family. Well, whether we, what do we like it or not? You know, and I, know, that's, I like the fact that we know pets can be part of our family. And, you know, they're like, you know, they, you know. That's why most celebrities or most uh, people call them fur babies, and that's what they are. If they can't have kids and uh, actual human kids of their own, how about those the kids of the four-legged kind? Because they act like kids sometimes. So, uh, and uh, you know, my cat, Sunfire, like you say, was one of a kind. And uh, and right now he's suffered a stroke. We can't do anything right now for him. And uh, I hope we can. And I'll, I want to, you know. He is he is not uh not the same guy. You know, he's not the same guy that we all know and love and he's trying you know, he's trying he's trying to do the best he can and he's trying to you know, he wants love. He knows he knows what's happening to him and he he's he's probably scared for his life and I don't blame him, you know. And uh it's hard for me to fight you know, yeah, last night I decided to let him um in my room, um, I got him on my bed so I could take pictures of the, of the little guy because you never know when he's going to go. And the little fella just he he he, know, he knows what's happening to him. Um, he knows what's going on with him, and uh, he's kind of scared. So you know, I was you know I was petting him, trying to uh, say everything will be all right, and I started crying. And, you know, it was it's it's so surreal. You know, it's hard to lose. Uh, it's hard that. You know, it's hard to, to find out that you're gonna lose a loved one, and uh, you know, losing losing your pet, or you know, somebody, or a human relative, or something like that. Anybody that you love, it's hard to let go, and it's hard, you know, whether it be physically, uh, when it's it's like I said, it's, you know, it it's been uh, a difficult, you know, life has been. Life is the most difficult journey that we ever embark embark upon. All of us have, and it's this day and age. Um, with course, you know, a lot of not a lot of people are big fran- fans of, of President Donald Trump, you know. And I'm not a big fan of the guy either. But you know, you know, there's some stuff that you know, like I said, he wanted to protect religion, and that was you know, that was one thing that you know I respect about him. And then that's about it. But there's sometimes you know, you know. A lot of people just don't like him. I said, listen, I know, I think, you know, I think sometimes you, you want to make our country great again, you have to make a lot of sacrifices. And I think one of the biggest sacrifices he made it was his popularity, if he had any. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure he was pretty popular um, to, a, to a time. But, you know, sometimes, you know, sometimes in the back of your mind, it's only a matter of time you want to say, okay, I've had enough. I gotta do something, 
You know, I'm just, you know, even if it means, if I have to do something, listen, I'm not the most popular guy here on YouTube. You know, I really don't care. All right, it's just, it's just the attitude that I have is that I'm doing this for fun. I'm doing this to, uh, to share my life with the world, uh, who, who I am and what I'm all about, and um, just, you know, and share my fun and entertainment, uh, my opinions, you know, and that's that's who I am. You know, I, uh, and I don't, I don't, uh, you know, I just want to, you know, share my heart with the world, and that's what I'm all about, share who I am and why I do this, and, you know, uh, a lot of, you know, people out there don't understand, you know, look at complete strangers on the internet telling you, hey, you know, um, you know, you're this, you're that, you're a loser, you're living in your mom's basement, blah, 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 you know, and, and they think they, they think they're better than you, and there's, uh, there's people out there that are, act like that. And it's really sad, you know, it's really sad. And then they accuse you of something that you have nothing to do with, you know. Oh, you're friends with somebody they don't like, and, and all of a sudden they, they start getting on your case about it. I'm like, what for? What did I do, you know? It's like, you know, seriously, you know, I feel like going, you know what I mean? It's, it's and, you know, sometimes it, I personally think it's it's disgusting, you know, that people want to act like that and, um, you know, be disrespectful towards celebrities, whether it be fat shaming them or job shaming them. Or even house shaming them, you know what I'm saying? You know, listen, you know, listen. I don't live in the most glamorous city in the world, okay? And that's that's a, that's a fact, you know. If you, if you if you even drive, if you've been to New Bedford, people, I mean, if you have, then you will understand. But you know, at the same time, uh, you got you got to understand where I'm coming from. You have to understand where I've been. You know, my life has been, like I said. It has, you know, I don't, I don't have the easy life. I don't, uh, I don't have the glamorous life, so to speak. And uh, if I wanted to live the glamorous life, you know, that's fine by me. Oh, I just, I, just, I had to get back. I, I'm sorry. Um, you know, if you, um, you know, like I said, you know, I, my videos are not perfect. You know, they're not. You know, it's not, the problem is that you know, it's hard to, for me to get the people what they want when we got. We are limited. We have limited supplies of what you have on here, and it's really, really tough. You know, you know, people complain. Oh, you live in your parents' basement. You're a loser. You're a this. You're a that. You know, I'm like, really? You know, we have to go on that again. You know, well, and I have to repeat myself. Hey, I'm thankful for where I live because there's, there's other people out there, and I'm not as fortunate as I am. What if I complain about my living quarters? You know. You know, I can go out and get and go find a place. So I would have done that this year, but unfortunately, things things fell through. But you know, I'm here and I'm very very happy. I got family, I got friends um, that love me and care about me. You know, like I said, I, I go back to my uh, little guy here, Sunfire. Um, I wish I could show him to you, but I don't want to, you know, endanger him. You know, little, little guy is getting old. You know. That's why I call him the cranky old man sometimes, because my, my, one of my sister's dogs wants to play with him, and, and he's like, get away from me, get away from me, yeah, you know, and um, he's, you know, he's, he's lived the life, he's lived his life here, and um, if he goes, he goes, you know, it's going to be very, very tough, it's going to be very, very tough, and uh, I'm not looking forward to that day when he decides to go, and, um, you know, he's got, you know, Life is too short, people. Just love, you know, love one another. Don't hate. If you have a beef with somebody and you have not spoken to them in years, you know, take the time to say, hey, I'm sorry, you know. Like I say, it, but it won't be easy for the other person to accept, you know what I mean? But, you know, like I say, you know, I'm, let's go, um, you know, my situation with my ex crush Paulette, all right, it's, it's, you know, I haven't spoken, like I said, I haven't spoken to her in 23 years because of what I did. I've always say it was it was my fault. It was never her fault. You know, she did nothing wrong. But I'm very very thankful that I went through that because I learned a lesson from that. That way, people, so I can go out here, there and tell people, don't make the same mistakes I made. If you're in love with somebody, you know, if you have a crush on somebody, let them be. You know, because you never know. Because that's why I'm very very careful nowadays. Like I said, when you know, if I have crushes on girls, I have to be careful about or women or on women got to be careful with whether or not they have a boyfriend or or what just you know got to stay away keep a distance relationship and be, just be friends with a person that's all that's all i'm saying you know 
And people say, are you gay? No, I don't swing that way, man, you know. But that doesn't, you know, I don't swing that way, man. I just, I just, I'm just going to be single and just be mean. That's, uh, that's all I, I see it as. So, um, I'm thankful for my life and thankful for what I have. And, um, it's, like I said, it's been a crazy, like I said, uh, the summer has been very, very, um, unique in a way. So, um, well, uh. Well, next episode, on episode 129, I'll give you the top five, my personal top five highlights of the summer of 2018 for me. Check that out. And I'll be using the old EML 77 TV board to get that done. All right? Um, It's all the time we have here. Episode 128 complete. Uh, I would call, you know, I would say, you know, random uh, towards the end of summer thoughts and then... And then we'll go at that. Right? It's the final week of summer. Enjoy it the way you can. Sooner or later, you can be training your T-shirts and shorts in for jeans and hoodies. And hooded sweatshirts, all right? Well, I'll see you guys later. God bless. Peace. And uh, hopefully uh, well, t- this week's pay week. That means I get paid this Friday. Can't wait to see what, what happens here. All right. Peace out. Love. And uh, God bless. Catch you on the flip side. Bye.